Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate a Polish saint, Saint John Cantius, a holy priest, also a very good scholar. He was a philosopher, theologian, and also a physicist. He taught at the University of Krakow, but uh, together with this great understanding of the theological science, he united also a great piety and a life of virtue and zeal and penance as well. He died in 1473 and was canonized in the 16th century by Clement, the Pope Clement XIII. We are celebrating also the month of October, which is dedicated to Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And in, my, this, in this brief reflection, I wish to meditate with you on the importance of the Holy Rosary, this chain of grace, a sweet chain of grace. And I wish to make reference to a beautiful prayer composed by Blessed Bartolo Longo, an Italian man who is the founder of the Shrine of the Most Holy Rosary in Pompeii. You know that this saint wrote a beautiful prayer, a novena prayer in supplication to Our Lady to ask any grace because he was convinced with many other saints that the rosary is always a, a way to get any possible grace from God because it's indeed a chain of grace. He wrote this novena prayer in, in preparation for receiving a grace and the novena prayer in order to thank Our Lady for the grace received. On top of this novena, he wrote another beautiful prayer, which is the supplication to Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And this supplication is prayed twice a year. Once, the first in uh, May, and uh, the second time in October. 8th of May and the first Sunday of October. The final part of this prayer, I'm going now to quote, is beautiful, and we reflect briefly on this. The prayer ends this way. O blessed rosary of Mary, sweet chain, which unites us to God, bond of love which unites us to the angels, tower of salvation against the assaults of hell, save port in our universal shipwreck. We shall never abandon you. You will be our comfort in the hour of agony to you the last kiss of our dying life. Pray for us now and the hour of our death. Amen. As we say in the Hail Mary. Let's now briefly uh, reflect on this. The rosary as a sweet chain which unites us to God, a bond of love that unites us with the angels. The rosary, as you know, is a, is a bunch of roses that we offer to Our Lady. And since the rose is the most perfect, most beautiful flower among all flowers, the rosary is the most beautiful prayer among all other prayers that we offer to our Blessed Mother Mary. But the rosary is made by several roses, at least 50 roses, 50 Hail Marys that we pray to our Blessed Mother Mary. And uh, as we pray this beautiful angelic salutation, and we repeat it, we mean to be chained to Our Lady with this love, this continuous love that we want to manifest by greeting Our Lady as the angel did. It's a way to be chained to Our Lady, so to say, by grace, 
but in order to be united with the angels and finally to be united with God himself. The rosary is a way to be with God. And this chain of grace is also visible in the fact that the Holy Rosary is the life of Jesus, the mysteries of Jesus' life. And in this chain, actually, there is the meditation of all these mysteries. So the chain itself is made by the salvation history. In it, we experience and we uh, believe in all mysteries of Jesus' life. This is the reason why this chain is so tight. This chain is able to, to unite us uh, with, with God because we are now experience a salvation. Finally, the Holy Rosary is also a safe port in a universal shipwreck. We should also make a reference to today's very difficult moment in the church where there is confusion and uncertainty, especially about the doctrine of the faith. There is a danger to lose the faith, to give it up and say, well, faith is not so important in order to gain eternal salvation. It is more important to see the, the situation in the world to take care of this humanity, this world, this ecology. And uh, we might easily forget that we are created for God in order to attain eternal life. In this situation, in this possible shipwreck within the, the church, we should say, we have to pray the most holy rosary, never to forget what is our own uh, end, what is the very goal we want to achieve. And we pray, Our Lady, the star of the sea, that by the prayer of the Holy Rosary, she might always guide us into this fort of eternal salvation, by the prayer of the most holy rosary. We ask St. John Cantius today to pray for us, to encourage us to always be faithful to the prayer of the Most Holy Rosary. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.